I'm joined by case manager Alan Dawson after this evening's 5-2 win against Cray in the London Senior Cup. Alan, it was a cup semi-final, the nerves must have been going in the dressing room. How important was it to get a goal after just 12 minutes this evening to settle those nerves? Ah, oh, great. Um, it is, it's like a semi-final, but you don't know, we had a horrendous um, injury list by the way. Absolutely up my wall, like, you know, where everybody was injured and even some people had a play of injuries. And, um, so, well, let's watch what we're doing there, like, you know, so we left a few out as well and we had all them injuries. So, uh, it was like, a couple of younger lads who come on tonight, which I'm delighted about. And a couple of, we had a couple of youngsters involved so it was very important that's where we got the first goal mate went on delighted how we're done to be honest and uh, I thought the two centre halves were excellent to tell you the truth I thought we led the line well you know like Maka wanting to get the cup final so the touch who I thought was excellent tonight um, so it was a lot of pluses on and it's got some good goals to be honest like you know I'm not so sure Maka meant his to tell you the truth like but uh, you see it is but he got off to a good start and the two centre halves got off to a good start because the attitude was spot on and then um, Tune it up, and when it was three, I, I thought we'd win again. But you know, yeah, and it's a bit disappointing conceding two goals. Of course, it is. But listen, you win them one nil, you win them five two, whatever. The, the biggest thing was was going when Snake's fighting. So it um, took a few fans there who were few, and um, you know, try to win a call. As you say, the two centre halves led by example, yeah. they both got goals in the first half. What did you say at half time in the dressing room at two nil up? You apparently cruising, but did you have to lower expectations and make you everyone keep like, their eye on the ball? Aye, because expect that's never a problem with us. Because what happened at Margate, I think, so you get me main at two nil, three nil, doesn't really matter. Um, at 3-0 I probably wouldn't have made all the changes I made because we had, you know, we, we need to win the game and at 5-0 you can't because nobody's going to come back from 5 and that, you know, but at 3 you learn by mistakes at um, Morgan, but um, to be fair, Lummy and Matty Warren coming on was great for her, Alan Breer getting a half an hour stint, it's good for her, um, he'll be part of the plans next year, the two centre halves like see outstanding and um, I thought Pierce had done his job. Um, Gary took a knock on his foot, injuries again, all that you know, I can't do nothing about that. And um, and Louis Beadle up front probably shouldn't have played and did do full credit to him. So whoever has left I'll let put a side together on Saturday and what about and do with young lads and stuff like that and the most important thing now is Wednesday for us because that's the only thing we've got to play for. Of course pride comes in of it, of course you want to get nine points out of the last three games, but gotta be realistic. I, I really want to win something for our supporters who are stuck with through a difficult year this year. And my chairman and my directors who I've had massive support of them for the last six years here and uh, I'd like to win something for them as well like we did the league and stuff like that so it is something uh, to go in the mantelpiece um, that's what we'll, we'll be striving to do um, no doubt about it so next Wednesday is what my concentration is on at the minute and I'm delighted with the results to be honest We play Hendon in the final next Wednesday we're also currently playing yeah. Hendon this Saturday right. how different are those two games going to be do you think? Different wise where I think Next Wednesday will be a cup final, without a doubt that's a cup final, because he'll want to win it and we want to win it, no doubt about it, and we'll put their strongest out, we'll put our strongest out and try to win it. Saturday's a little bit different that we've got something to play for, we haven't, we've got pride to play for, and, and the football club and all that, but because we've just played, we haven't had a game tonight, obviously, so we've had a good rest and haven't had a game in midweek or whatever, um, so we'll be fresh on us and we'll have it, you know, so I'll, I'll look at the situation where I'll let us swallow my pride a bit, and I think I'm taking a game on Ewan on Saturday because Hamzy and Morton agreed to go on scouting trips and stuff like that, which is only right because we've got to have targets for next season and the work starts now. So we're doing fall short, if you like. Now, um, I may have to swallow a bit of pride and say, listen, okay, we'll have a right go at them, and of course we want to win the game, and I would like to win it and all the rest of it. And we record against Hendon's very good um, in the league, um, so I would like to win it, but at the same time, um, the only thing is you've got something to play for because you can get in the playoffs. We've got trade and three points to play for, which is always important. But Friday night a cup final, we all want to win it, we want to win it, it's massively and all that, you know. Saturday doesn't change that, but at the same time, we've got a bit more to play for in us, I think. But we have been fresh all week, we haven't had a game, we've had games, games, games. And, um, and the, the squad is getting shorter and shorter and shorter, so I'll let's see who's injured and um, see who, who's got a pair of boots, to be honest, the player. Let him play myself. Totally out of your control, obviously, but are you slightly disappointed we don't get a crack at AFC Wimbledon in the final? Massively, I came to the game, I sneaked in the game here, I played against um, Hendon, and I came to the game and I was all excited. And, I came and um, I was very disappointed that they didn't go through the course. I would love to play at EFC Wimpton. Yeah, you're strapped to play them in one of the big competitions. So if the next year it'll be the FA Cup or something like that. Um, of course, without a doubt, I, I was devastated when Hendon beat him. Absolutely on my knees. I was coming to, when I walked away from here, I was like, we lost the game. I was at down. But at the end of the day, sometimes you say, OK, that's a case, that's a case. Um, and we're going to uh, have a crack at Hendon now. But, yes. The question was, I would love to play the FC, but we kind of let play a good Hennon side with a good manager and um, try to beat them. Simple as that. And at the end of the day, if it's EFC or Hennon, as long as you lift that cup and Gary Mack lifts the cup, that's all I'm bored about, really.
think it's fair to say that, that this cup competition probably wasn't top of your yep. priorities at the beginning of the season, but we're here now, we're in the final. It's our first final since 2006. Um, yep. it's, it's a big deal now, isn't it? It is. Oh, I got me meaning out with the manager who took that team, to be honest, and won a cup final. Actually got the sack, so I better watch what I'm doing. I think I might actually have to throw it in to sort of keep my job, to be honest. Like, you know. No, I, 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 it's yeah, the support I've had here for a lot of years, and obviously um, with John taking over as well, there's chairman and the director still on board, obviously Mark and Morgan, Chris, and um, all of us have been very supportive of me, so I would like to try to do something for them and see if that's a benchmark for future success. So on their first season as John's as chairman and director as how it is now, um, owners and everything else we all share. Um, I would like to say, okay, this is the start of things, that's why I like to put a point in everybody to say, okay, we've had a bit of a rough time. I don't think we've underachieved or we've achieved this year. I think Temp's about right and I think, you know, where we are, we do quite well to get the top 10, to be honest. Um, but expectations have been massive here. I mean, we've maybe we've overachieved a bit, but at the same time, I want that and I want to have an overachieving club who's going to push on. I think the directors do as well. And um, it just might be a step us doing soon. Let's get, get used to winning things. And if we get used to winning things, we take one. But I know it's a final for the supporters, and that's all it is. And yeah, hopefully, we win a cup for them. And um, that's what I would like to do, winning for them. Um, that's the truth. You say the supporters, they can play a big role next week, can they, do you think? Massively, because our supporters are a different class, absolutely fantastic. And the noise they made, even the mates, and the, I mean, the noise they make is fantastic. And then um, there'll be a lot more hours and theirs, which is a fact, um, just like it was tonight, obviously. And um, I think it will make a hell of a difference. And I know what our supporters can do for the team, and I know the lads appreciate it, and the club do. And um, hopefully they'll turn out in their numbers. You know, I think it's a stupid game like Chelsea or Barcelona on the same night or whatever, but by the boot all up. The tell you the truth, I think they'll come and support our club and uh, hopefully we'll get a decent crowd and a decent turnout and give them something to cheer about, which we really deserve something to cheer about. You know? Yes, mate, good luck for next week. Thank you very much. Okay. Cheers, Thank you. Cheers,